Oh, my name is Bo Pang, and this is for the Data Science Indiana Project. Currently a master's student there, and also working as an intern for GoFind.ai. It's a startup in Berkeley. Um, it's, it, it does visual um, search, so like, you know, you can take a picture of your shirt and then put it into the app, um, and then it'll search through um, our database using our, our, our models, and it find visually similar shirts that you can then click and buy. Um, I work on the NLP team uh, for that company. So today we're going to be doing um, an L working on an example for an LDA model and also a DocDevec model and we're going to be using uh, LDA Viz and the PCA for some visualization. So since we're a um, fashion a, a company we're going to be using a closed catalog uh, for our LDA model. So if you don't know LDA, LDA is um, an algorithm that uh, generates topics um, based on your data. So if you did LDA on the news, it might generate um, topics such as technology or fashion, and these are unsupervised um, topics. You're not giving it any features uh, like this is a news, this is what the, a news looks like, this is what um, fashion looks like. So you're just giving it the data and it'll generate the topics by itself. Um, so for our data set we're going to use 1 million lines of catalog data so one line could look like this classic cotton lawn shirt and, and also have like something like this soft wash cotton excludes a vintage appearance on a lean fitting shirt designed with a point collar uh, and single button cuff so um, this is what the data looks like is 1 million lines right here and the data has already been limitized by all my coworkers. But if you don't know how to do that, you can just do it in one line. And Gensum is very easy. Um, limitization it just brings all the words to the root form. So, like for example, M R is B. It might bring it to like just B or friends, friend. It'll just you know make it into friend, and that's great for us because you know those words are the same for 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 us. So. Here we're just going to import some packages and then read in that data that we just saw. And this is just um, pre-processing. And um, this is pre-processing, taking out the numbers. This is um, defining the tokenizer and then um, the stop words. Um, so we're going to run it through this script. We're going to run this text through this script. So we're going to lower all the words and then tokenize all the words. Um, we've already cleaned, cleaned it here. And then we're also going to take the stop words out. So stop words are word, very common words like a, an, and, are. You know, that doesn't add any value to our um, algorithm. Uh, LDA is, is, is a algorithm that does not um, care about word placement or like word, yeah, pl um, placement in terms of it doesn't care that um, you know I like him that like is before I and after him it, it doesn't um, differentiate between between that so um, so for us removing stop words would be would be good because um, those words don't really add anything because every sentence has stop words um, and then we're just appending it to less this is more um, pre-processing right here. So this is the meat of the Jensen model, which is an NLP package. So here we're going to do three things. We're going to um, make, make a dictionary out of our text. Um, we're going to um, make our corpus, and then we're going to build our model. So the dictionary would will, will just have um, each words each unique words and then a unique word ID and then the frequency count of that word in the in the um, in the corpus. So our corpus is um, going to be well. Here, here, here is an example of the corpus. So it'll be like the dictionary ID and then the frequency count of that word and then that'll be a word. Um, no, actually, no, no, I take that back. It's just dictionary ID and the frequency count of that word. So these are all the words and their frequency count in this one 
um, line or sentence. Um, so here we're going to generate the model uh, using Gensim LDA multi-core, which, which means it just uses multiple cores, and we chose 200 topics. Remember, topics like technology or fashion, chunk size is 1,000. Uh, we're going to pass it through 20 times. We're going to iterate through the, the model 20 times, and this is uh, 30 nodes. Chunk size is just how, how many lines you want to read um, per node. Yeah, so we're gonna also then write these these things to um, just just output them to to various files. So we're going to output our text file that that we made here, our tokenized file text data into this uh, token file. We're going to output our dictionary into this file our corpus into this file and our model into this file so I did this in the command line um, so I'm not gonna run it here because it's not gonna work it took we ran I ran it in a 32 core um, AWS EC2 instance and it took about a day and a half so but I already um, I but I yeah, I um, I did that there, and then I downloaded my model, the LDA model, and then I reloaded it here for you guys. So here we're gonna just load the model again, and then um, print the 20 random topics with um, the eight most highest occurring words. So here will be topic 128: bra, cup, support, strap, and then it'll give the weights of that topic. And then here will be you know topic 198, and then men, cotton, and then the weight of that topic. So this is basically what LDA does. It generates a bunch of topics uh, for you. So here we're going to use LDA Viz, which is um, a really cool package that Ben maybe uh, built in Python. I think there's a R package for it, but he, he built a Python package um, for LDA Viz. And it just does this exact thing, but visualizes it way better. So it um, cluster, clusters the topics um, using probably PCA or TSNE um, into this two-dimensional graph. So we can see here, so these are just all the topics that was here, okay? So we can see here, um, this is a topic right here. Um, so this topic is about sun, you know, UV ray, harmful, Columbia, outdoors. So this is like an outdoor suns topic right here. Um, this topic is, you know, it says Under Armour, Armour for Under Armour, Moisture, UA, Technology, Performance. So this is like a sports outside topic. And you can see these two topics are clustered close to each other. And then this topic, you know, it says Capri, Stretch, Yoga, Woman, Studio. So this is like a new age, relaxing exercise topic. And it's very similar to the sun topic. And you can see that this topic is actually closer to this first topic. Uh, this yoga topic is closer to the sun because it had both says relaxing, um, but this you know sun is is more closer to this Under Armour um, topic, which you know both is related outdoors, and this Under Armour topic, uh, technology performance topic is close to the yoga topic, but it's less close than the the sun topic. So. That's, that's great. It generates pretty distinct models on just one million lines um, of data. And for here, you can see this topic has, you know, has to do with thigh, leg, sit, rise, waist, inch, um, inseam. So this is like pant size topic. And here it's a topic of sleeve, which is nine, close to it, sleeve, button, long, shirt. So this is a, a topic of you know, shirt size, shirt and shirt size. So these are close to each other. Um, these these graphs, um, just if you set this bar to one, it just um, gives you the most, like the frequency count of the word, uh, and it'll rank it like that. So leg has the highest frequency count of this word in this topic. Um, if you set it to zero, it'll be the it'll be 
the amount of times that the word occurred divided by the amount of time that the word occurred in the corpus. So if you set it to zero, um, this word meaning means that it basically only occurred in this topic. Um, so uh, they may be said, you know, setting it to 0.6 is, is a good, good happy medium. Okay, so that's LDA Viz um, for you guys. So next, so it's really cool. Um, but so next we're gonna move on to PCA. So PCA, you know, basically does what this graph does. It takes this topic, which has, you know, many, you know, it's pretty high dimensional. It's gonna be, you know, 20 dimensions, uh, and it and breaks it down to, you know, two or three dimensional uh, data set so that we can. Um, we can visualize it. So um, here we're just going to we're just going to import the model that we created. But for for this PCA model, we're actually going to only use 20 topics because we're going to graph it. And if I use 200 topics, I'm going to set each topic as a different color. And 200 colors um, it just you know wouldn't be very visually appealing. Um, so we're going to, so right here we're going to append the topics to the document so right here is that after we did that so right here is topics data is a, a document so this is like a document and then it has 20 topics like we said and then the numbers are um, the weights of that topic on that document so this this catalog line has this topic, this topic, and this topic that has weights in it. Um, so we're going to graph it on PCA. So this is graphed on PCA, which is, you know, does what that other one does, you know, transforms this 20 dimensional array into, you know, two dimensional space. And so we can see there's clusters forming. So this is a very interesting um, graph and we're going to move on. And this is another PCA graph of the same data uh, using um, Z score, um, using Z score standardization, which is just a standardization um, technique. And um, for us, we standardized it by the columns. So, um, so by the topics. So here we see, you know, it's just a, it's a different shape. And then for the last, last graph, this is exact, again, using a PCA, PCA standardization. Um, but this one was actually generated by mistake. I actually accidentally used 10 million lines instead of 1 million um, by accident. So this one has 9 million blank lines of all zeros. And, but somehow it still generated like probably the best picture of them all. It also used um, the standardization that that we did the v score standardization. Um, so this is interesting. You know, it'd be very interesting to like take you know two of these uh, dots and see how they relate to each other. But I didn't really have time to do that, so I didn't get to that. But um, certainly you can if you want. <laughs> Okay, so we're moving on. So now we're gonna talk about DocTVec. I know this is a lot of, you know, covering a lot of ground, but um, so we're gonna talk about DocTVec. So DocTVec is similar to WorkTVec. DocTVec does does um, document embedding. So if you know WorkTVec, um, WorkTVec embeds a word um, into vector space, and then you can do interesting things. Um, to that uh, vector, you know, you can minus one vector by another vector to see how words are similar to each other, or you can take the cosine similarities um, of their of the words to see how you know various words are um, similar to each other. So Dr. Vec just takes that another step by instead of just doing word embeddings, it does uh, document embeddings, and just so it, it embeds the whole line. Um, so you can see how one line or one document is similar to another document. 
And so, um, so yeah, let's see here. So, um, we're going to, we're going to do that. So here is the, I just imported a bunch of, um, packages and then, um, this is, you know, I just, I'm just opening the token file, uh, the tokenized words that we, we saw from previous and I'm doing some, um, just transformation and also pre-processing here and then um, I'm and then I'm generating a model so I'm um, this is um, building the synthesis from the token tokenized data so it'll just have a sentence um, with the tokens and then also it'll give a document ID to that that sentence or that line and then here it'll generate the the DocTivec model. So I also did this on AWS with 32 cores, and um, this is on 30 million lines of data. So um, this says the size is 200, window is 10, min count is 5, iter is 20, worker is 32. So the size is is 200. So size is the dimensionality of the the feature vectors. Uh, window is the maximum distance between the predicted word um, and context words used for prediction. Um, min count is the minimum count of a word um, that needs to occur for it to um, be used, and the, you know it iterates through 20 times, just like the pass function for the LDA, and it uses 32 uh, cores. Now. Um, yeah, so we we generate the model, we save the model here, and now we're going to um, see what the model does. So um, for this model, you know, it can print it can print uh, similar documents. So this function right here sends equals model dot doc doc vex dot most similar. It will print um, a documents that are similar to this. 99 document the ID number 99 so I didn't I'm not gonna run this here because um, you know I ran it in AWS and it took like two days and the, the Dr. Beck model size is even like over a gig just just on this model pickle model so um, I, I'm gonna show you on here and um, yeah so this is I'm logged on to the server here, and I'll show the results here because I because I did it on the server because my model is on the server. So it right here. Um, so I'm gonna do print the similar documents to document 99, and here is gonna give me right here document 90 98 is similar. This document is similar. Document one. Not five nine eight seven four is similar. Document nine three six one one six is similar. Document five one you know so it it's pretty cool. Uh, it'll give similar documents uh, to to the document ID ninety nine. So moving on, we can do things like um, hmm. I think for this, I did. Yeah, for this I did this first. Okay, so we also can see, um, you know, like I said, to measure the cosine similarity uh, between between words. Um, so we can um, say, you know, Calvin is to to Klein as Tommy is to what? Um, so right here, the the model said. Hill figure. I know this isn't visually, visually appear, um, you know, visually um, good, but um, you you get the gist, right? So here it says skinniest gene as large as to what? So skinniest gene as large as to ankle boot cut, you know. So they didn't give great results here, you know. Black is to dress as navy as to what, you know? So, and I said like blouse, skirt, gown. Um, and you know, I'll say blue is to coat as yellow is to 
um, since his Gillette jumper, um, jacket, uh, things like that. So, uh, you know, you can see that, you know, it, it gives mixed results, but it was able to tell that Calvin is to Klein as Tommy is to Hilfiger, and we didn't you know, give it any inputs. It just recognized that. So we can also do um, which words don't belong. Uh, so here it's Halloween, costume, devil, party, scarf. And which one of these words um, don't belong? And um, the model here said scarf. Actually, I ran this model here on a much smaller data set, and it still says, it also says scarf. So <laughs> um, here we can do it again. You know, which one doesn't match? So black, blue, yellow, shirt, navy, black, green, orange. So, you know, shirt is the thing that doesn't match. And I'll say shirt here. So here I'll say, you know, which one, and this is actually work to vec right here. So, you know, Dr. Vec also does work to vec. So summer, winter, fall, tea, like this specific example. This right here was Dr. Vec. Um, you know, summer, winter, fall, t-shirt, spring, hot coat, which one of these doesn't, you know, belong in t-shirt? And it got it right again. You know, straight, slim, fit, custom, regular, winter, which one doesn't, you know, belong, it should be winter, and, you know, right here it says winter. Um, national. I'm trying to figure out where I am here. Oh, yeah, okay, so... We can also do more examples of this. So boy is to king as girl is to what? And I'll say like gangster, <laughs> redhead, Jedi, which is uh, funny because you got to remember this is a um, this is a corpus of uh, clothes. So the only time clothes comes up that in king is like in Halloween. So, um, you know, say boy is a costume of king and girl is a costume of like Jedi or gangster. So, you know, it's pretty good. Uh, blue is to shirt as blue is to, and I, you know, to see what it would do. And, it, you know, it would give back shirt, you know, sports shirt. So that's pretty good. T shirt. Calvin is to clients. Tommy is to, you know, hill figure. Uh, cotton is to material. So cotton is a material and polyester is a what? And I'll say here, uh, you know, it's just fabric, you know, soft, microfiber. You know, Nike is to run as Express is to what? So Nike, you know, is a brand and Express is a brand of running is something that, you know, people do. And Express is to training, and armor. So, you know, it gives similar words. Um, so this was all unsupervised, right? You know, we didn't, we didn't tell it, we didn't define um, what color was or we didn't define what hot or cold or what is, you know what is a season and what isn't and it was able to differentiate uh, these things together and we didn't say you know Calvin Klein is uh, is a um, is a um, is a company it's a logo um, and Tom Hilfiger is also a brand you know we didn't say that you know we just give it a gave it a bunch of text and, and figured it out. And that's it. So this is my um, tutorial and I'm stopping. And so thanks for your time and have a nice day.